morning, good afternoon, good evening, good midnight, <laughs> whatever time you're watching this. I'm Miss Mark and welcome to another video. I wasn't sure if I wanted to share this footage exactly because uh, as you saw, I filmed this at 5.30 in the morning and just filmed it in my dining room so the lighting and the camera angles aren't great. But I did film the whole thing and the footage kind of goes along with what I wanted to talk about today. <laughs> so I think I'll go ahead and use this footage, but maybe not film this way again because it doesn't look great. <laughs> anyway, moving on. The main reason I wanted to share this particular footage is because it actually depicts my most recent schedule adjustment that I'm working on, which is sketching in my sketchbook every morning. Uh, it's going a little bit rough and I'm struggling to do it consistently, but my sketchbook is a judgment-free zone where I don't need to do my best. And I feel like it's really important for me as an artist to start my day off with a little bit of a judgment-free zone. <laughs> and by judgment-free, I literally, I, I mean my own judgment. It's a place where I don't feel like I need to do my best. It's just, I can sit down and scribble and scratch out some pencil marks and then move on with my life. So, <laughs> um, for me, the important thing isn't to make anything finished or polished in my sketchbook. It's just to show up and do something, get the day started. At least for me anyway, that's, that's the purpose of my sketchbook these days. It's just a place where quality doesn't matter. It's, it's, it kind of is quantity over quality in my, my sketchbook. And having a place like this where uh, I don't really need to meet my expectations or anyone else's, um, I've discovered it's really important to have a place like that these days because I'm super focused on my comic and I want my comic to be good. Um, but it's important to kind of balance it out and have a place where I don't need to be at the top of my game <laughs> all the time. <laughs> this particular sketch that you guys are watching I think came out just fine. So I'm not saying that this sketch is worthless or bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, sketchbooks in general are for whatever ideas pop into my head, even if they're not necessarily brilliant ones. <laughs> the pressure of a well done, neatly drawn comic page isn't something that bothers me really. It's something that I look for. Like I like making good art and I like making art that is the best I can make. Um, I just, you know, what I've noticed recently is that I need to balance it with um, doing art, having an art outlet that doesn't uh, have that same pressure. I need both pressure, pressure art and non-pressure art. <laughs> reason that I'm trying to sketch each morning, the reason why I feel like this uh, habit is kind of important to struggle through, is because I know that it will always be a struggle for me to just show up and make art when I don't feel like it. It's kind of my uh, Achilles heel, I guess you could say. Um, I don't make art for a living. It's not my quote-unquote job, which I like, but it also means that there is nobody who can make me draw if I don't feel like it. There's no boss holding me accountable. There's no um, schedule that I have to keep for anyone else. It's literally just whatever I decide. The There's a lot of benefits to that and I love it. <laughs> but the downside, as you might be able to predict, is that um, it's very easy for me to excuse myself, to say I'm too tired, too lazy, too busy, too whatever, to do art. And uh, my sketchbook is a slightly less intimidating place to sort of force myself to show up because uh, with comic pages I feel like I have to show up and do, do well so it's a lot more, it's a lot more pressure with a sketchbook I kind of feel like it's it's not about the quality of the art it's literally just practicing sitting down with a pencil and putting the pencil on paper that's that's what my sketchbook is for <laughs> it's just practicing sitting and drawing so that's why I feel like even though this is kind of a hard habit for me to establish right now, it's a worthwhile habit because I could always use more practice when it comes to being industrious and holding myself accountable, uh, but also I could use a little bit more time 
away from uh, finished products. That's that that feels like that's all I've been doing lately is comic pages and finishing them, and I just haven't had uh, a chill sketchbook moment in a while. So finally had this this little drawing and managed to record it. So I'm sharing it with ya. <laughs> materials that I'm using in case anybody's curious um, I just used a random like Pentel I think mechanical pencil nothing really fancy and then um, actually Hobby Lobby's own brand of fine liners to do these outlines and then some gray tone markers in the all in the Moleskine sketchbook Moleskine I call it Moleskine because I think that sounds fancy <laughs> Anyway, yeah, just some, some basic grayscale materials drawing in before I got my morning started, so um, it was it was nice to do just a little sketch like this where, um, yeah, it didn't have to be the same level of precise and polish that my comic panels are, so it was a very relaxing moment. I'd like to film more sketchbook sessions just maybe not this early in the morning next time and with proper lighting so it's not so dim and grainy. I think the footage is okay. It's just not as good as it could be. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was relaxing for you too and maybe you feel inspired to get out your own sketchbook. Um, I think that's it for now so I'm gonna wrap up and I will see you next week in another video. Bye guys! Thank you.